Brett, a dramatic scene after a vehicle slams into a building. Maria Stefanos in the newsroom with some new surveillance of this crash, Maria. Emily, what a mess. Police are still investigating what led up to this crash, but we can tell you that there are no survivors. Apparently, security footage caught three weird-looking adult men playing with a laser pointer just before the crash. They seem to be giggling and tickling each other. An enhancement of the video even reveals one suspect touching another's butt. Police have released sketches of the suspects responsible for this crash along with the following audio clip. <laughs> wait, wait, guys, let's crash that car. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't care. Let's touch his butt. Many amateur sleuths have taken to the internet with theories on who the police sketch resembles, but police chief Mike Horan had this to say. With our current resources, we are unlikely to identify the culprits responsible for this tragedy. The only way I could see us finding these criminals would be if there were some kind of massive digital repository of hours of video and audio footage of these men that we could use to match their faces in the security footage. Weird guys like this are hard to hunt down. If they were semi-popular internet celebrities or somewhat famous comedians, that would be another story. But we're still waiting on details at this time. In addition to dozens of fatalities and nearly 100 serious injuries, there was structural damage to the building, as you can imagine, and that right now is being investigated, as well as the psychological damages caused by the bald suspect's attempt to riz one of the female crash victims. One thing's for certain, these three pieces of shit have a life sentence ahead of them once they're caught. Back to you, FUD. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, One word. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't even begin to... No, uh, bruh does not encapsulate what we... What about this word? ...we found ourselves in. Dave Dave is You're getting a little bit closer, I would say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still not fully there. One word. Boing. Sproing is okay. Sproing is colder, though. You're, You're almost on it. One word. No, that's the sound. That no, was the I mean, sound that, they that, made no, last that's night. definitely the closest one. Yeah. Um, guys, we have found ourselves in a bit of a sticky legal situation. Uh -huh. uh, it's ongoing, but um, ongoing for a very long time. Yeah. Ongoing for, for essentially the rest <laughs> of our lives. They one hundred years. <laughs> We've been sentenced to a hundred <laughs> years in in federal maximum security prison, uh -huh. cell block one thousand. That's where we are right now. Yeah, and uh, um, yeah, I mean. There's no two ways about it. We messed up. Yeah, you know? and, I and think we're completely innocent. I don't I mean, think we should have been saved. I mean, the immortal words yeah. of, of Kendrick Lamar, when shit hits the fan, are you still a fan? And the rest of the line doesn't matter. Uh huh. I don't know what the rest of the line is. Me neither. It doesn't matter. That it doesn't matter. Can you say what, it? What's the rest? Um. When shit hits the fan, are I mean, you still a fan? Or do you? I'm wait, looking around right now. Like no, shit? I cannot say it. No, it's, it, it, when shit hits the fan, are you still a fan? And then he, right. sa he says, uh, "My name he says is Michael Jackson." He says, oh. "He says he gave us Billie Jean." They say he touched those kids. It's a bit of a. It's kind of weird that he never got in trouble for that song. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of being like that. Michael Jackson never got in trouble for Billie Jean. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you should get in trouble for Billie Jean. Is that you're dating a girl named Billie? <laughs> kind of gay, Michael no. Jackson. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. No, but uh, Kendrick Lamar didn't get in any trouble for making this song where he was like... Did, he got in some trouble when his last album came out, right? Didn't people... Wasn't, didn't he have well, something people about... people were mad about Humble. People were mad Why? that he said he's sick and tired of the Photoshop and What's show wrong me with something Because he wants real. real girls. I don't know what was wrong I with wish it, that I but could. there was people getting... I remember my friend telling me that people, like, that people were mad about that when we were in an Uber, and I was like, What? I, I do fucking hate when a girl sends me a selfie with the Photoshop on, though. Yo, that's that is facts. true. Yeah. I'm not getting those anymore, though. I they know took that's my phone not when I came in here. Not mine. I'm one of those prisoners that makes TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> really? I do jumping jacks and sing songs. How many cigarettes did that cost you? 120. He has the most cigarettes. The that thing about Cameron yep. is I he's kind of I got one right now. Okay, so if you're wondering, if you're wondering where we're at, Cameron has become kind of the king of the jail so yeah. far. I mean... He's uh, feared, revered, mm -hmm. um, reviled, reviled mm -hmm. by by many respected. Different, I mean, I think you've gotten basically it, everything that starts with re and then two syllables. That's me. So what we have learned is that everybody <laughs> there's different cars <laughs> in prison, and Cameron is uh, uh, all of the cars respect him. Yeah, 
every single one of the groups in prison really respect the cars? him. Mm -hmm. That's what they call. You haven't noticed this? People are calling them cars. People are calling them cars. Yeah, yeah. Group of uh, like every every group in prison is a car. They say, huh? So every single well, I mean, I'm, we're just lucky that we didn't have to join any of these other guys. Yeah. By the way, if you were I wondering, we did. did not join any kind of white group. We uh, formed our yeah. own group. Thank you very we much. Called our, we formed our own group called the Prison Jitterbugs. The mm -hmm. Prison Jitterbugs. We thought that it was a nice kind of uh, low profile name. Uh -huh. We'd and be able to stay out of again. trouble. And we didn't think that Cameron would snap. Like the Jitterbugs, the Jitterbugs, like everything else in jail, it's about respect. Uh huh. And Cameron and has just been, I mean, adding, adding years to his sentence. Well, with stuff that he's been doing. I'm honestly not so worried about adding years to my sentence because, as you guys know, the arrangement we have with the warden right now, who we do. Here's a painting. That oh, we these did. are my these are my watercolors. Do you want me to go through my watercolors real uh, quick? Well, no, I'm still talking here about okay. our arrangement with the warden, which is that um, every podcast episode we record while we're in here, they're actually taking a year off our sentence just yeah. because of how yeah. much these episodes have been helping the community both in and out of prison. Mm -hmm. But simultaneously, we are doing a lot of stuff that is getting time added to our sentence. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, these watercolors, I was not supposed to have paint. No. I don't even know how you got. I don't even know who would bring you paint. I... Buddy, it took me a long time to get all this paint in here. Dude. I can tell you that for free. How one drop at a time? Hey, yeah. Should be, oh, I just you smuggle it, it in. I just smuggle it in one tongue. drop at a time. That's why it's watercolors because I uh, yeah, it's mixed in with my mm, mouth. That makes sense. See, we have um, up here on the on the right. Uh, that is our former cellmate as a portrait of our former cellmate Ryan. And Cameron, why don't you tell them? Um, why what, Ryan what looks like that Ryan. in that photo. Oh, um, well, I was having a bad dream <laughs> where I got struck by lightning. Uh-huh. And in the dream, I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. I might as well lash out at everybody around me. And by the way, Ryan's nickname was White Lightning. Yeah. So <laughs> you woke up, you saw and lightning. I woke up. I saw his lightning bolt tattoos mm -hmm. that he has. <laughs> That's why I, I was call, thinking about I lightning. White lightning. He had two lightning bolt <laughs> tattoos. I think it was like a family crest or well, something. Well, also because he was white. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, true. That was the other Which part of the Which is interesting because the, tat the tattoos are black ink. Yeah, they were not uh -huh. white. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's no. yeah. hard to do white ink. He did have some. He did have white stuff tattooed on him in other places. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He tried to tattoo you. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah oh, I did yeah. actually end up getting a prison tattoo. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't us. know if I've shown you guys this yet. No. I, yeah. yeah, I haven't seen it. Ryan, our cellmate, was... That's okay. You can have that one. Oh. Um, Ryan, our cellmate, was giving me a tattoo, and uh, I didn't really look at what I was kind of closing my eyes. Yeah, I've I mean, been, I've been you're pretty wincing tired in pain. here. Been, been pretty bored. Yeah. So I yeah. was just kind of taking a quick nap. While I thought he was it was tattooing a pain me. thing. And no, pain doesn't bother me at all. Oh, I'm okay. actually invincible. Oh. Um, but he was tattooing me, and I didn't look until about halfway through the tattoo down at what he was tattooing. So I ended up finishing it myself mm -hmm. when I saw what he was trying to put on my body. Um, so here, I'll just I'll just show it right now. Yeah, let I me, guess. Let me yeah, see. stand up and show the. So I don't know if you can read that for me because I'm off mic here. Says says, it says white person. Mm -hmm. But it looks like maybe it's kind of a blend of two styles, kind of old English up until the P. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe is that just Sharpie? No, it's a it's 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 all tattooed. It's all yeah. tattooed. No, it's just very blown out. Oh, That's why okay. it looks like Sharpie. Well, yeah, so, I mean you don't we don't have machines in here for uh -huh. for tattoos. Right. So maybe the only machines oh, we have okay. here is the industry so, of prison. Yeah. So he was trying to tattoo on you white prisoner. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. I hope and that's I'm like, what he well, was I don't want that for. I'm You're not going to be a prisoner someday. forever. Yeah. 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 But I am yeah. a white person. Yeah, that'll probably that's never good. change that's unless good. we develop technology. Yeah, yeah. So that's good to get that on your belly too. Yeah. So you can like. You so know. when I go swimming, yeah. people don't get confused if I get really tan. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you uh -huh. sit out in the sun, you bake. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Let's get the. Uh, so then the one on the. Oh, we're back to your. The one on the right here. This is a. This is a portrait of me and the warden. Right, um, so that's that's, that's, on the, the, that's left. the left. That's oh, I'm either sorry. the left or the middle. The that's camera, the, the only camera left. What are you chewing? Who's chewing ice. on something? He's got. You ice. can't chew ice. Yeah. I don't chew ice present. into the microphone. What's well, bad for you? You're your gonna teeth. get ten years. It's really bad for your teeth. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I am chewing I, ice. I, if they, I did they get watch ten years at it for rudeness. Yeah, I uh, put my elbows on the table so pretty often. In the often. middle here is the portrait of me and the warden, and then underneath that is um, Pizza Friday. Pizza Friday. We've been getting Pizza Fridays because of uh, stuff that Cameron has been 
uh, uh, threatening in the in the mm-hmm. in the prison. And he said, uh, "What did you say? You said if we don't get pizza Friday, you kind of had like your own little like all uh, y'all getting splatted." Yeah, all of you y'all getting splatted. That. You had like a little protest in here. In yeah. in here. Yeah. A little prison protest. And uh, we, it, got us, it got us Pizza Friday. So put the, play that uh, I'm applause s- sound for I'm you. I'm so, so That's blessed. That's sprawling. I'm so blessed to be stuck in this hellhole with one of my most violent friends. Yeah, <laughs> me too. It really is just yeah, such a blessing. Yeah, it's too bad that I got put in a cell with two kind of waifish little... Pussy and cats. Yeah, I mean, I've I, been getting really I'm into my bitch, art. I'm a complete bitch. I'm a bitch. fucking bitch. Uh huh. Right? The first day that I was here, I went up to the biggest, baddest guy in the prison and I hopped on his back and he gave me a piggyback ride. Mm-hmm. That's just how I roll in prison. I'm oh, actually yeah. enjoying myself a lot. The, I've been, uh, the I, wine, guys, oh I've never been into wine before. The, but oh my the God. tannins in this wine, Ooh, truly, is, it's, un, it's unreal. You I know, never you, understood what legs on wine men yeah. until I drank it in a styrofoam cup. Yeah. That's what I was just about to say. We take these, you know, you 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 swirl it around on the table like that yeah. in, the, in the styrofoam uh, flute that they give us. And we oh have my God. full <laughs> samplings, <laughs> by the way. So yeah. the we have full samplings. We yeah. take the we take the wine. Guys, we're cutting up black olives. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're, we're getting slices of craft singles. We're cutting them into quarters. Uh-huh. And we sit there, and guys, we are enjoying my... Don't feel bad for us uh-uh. in prison. We're happy. We are... Uh, I'm living the best life I've ever had in my, uh, Absolutely. to live. Absolutely. I get to use best. a rotary telephone. It's <sighs> amazing. I get to use a rotary telephone to call my cousins. My wife is out of the picture. Don't care what I don't remember doing. her phone number. It was in my contacts, and I don't have my phone. Guys. And actually, I do, but it's only on TikTok is the only yeah. app I have. It's, it's called, the only app it's called I have a new phone that's yeah. a one gigabyte phone, and that's the only reason that I could sneak it in, and it's mm. only big enough to store my TikToks and it, Yeah, on and it. my wife is watching. the. F- Listen, a phone number is at least three gigabytes. Oh, yeah. It doesn't fit on these tiny-ass phones mm. that we have in here. These phones are so they have no space in them at all. But we've really made a, a home for ourselves here. Oh, absolutely. Honestly, we have. Um, I mean, look at. We put up the watercolors. We put yeah, it over here uh-huh. on, on my side. We have uh, a sexy calendar. You yeah, know. Yeah, and these and these guys. It is so. I mean, I have been. I, I have been of, just a pack mule. I've been smuggling all this stuff in, rolling all this up, putting it in my butt and my mouth. I'm walking around here like a. Uh, what's the. Like What's, a reverse chipmunk. You yeah. got your butt cheeks full of food. I've got my butt cheeks full of food and my mouth full of posters. And yeah. <laughs> Walking around. You've been yeah. popping out Takis for us and all sorts that's of things. Why, that's why well, they yeah. call me the monk around I mean, you here. Guys, yeah, they do call you, you, got, you the monk. Yeah. Even though they also call me the monk for a different reason. And what's what's the reason they call you the monk? Well, I look like a monk. Yeah. Especially in this orange. You too. Yeah. Or you tried to set yourself on fire. Well, yeah. The first well, day, I didn't take it very, yeah. very well. Uh, the PlayStation stopped working, so I tried to set myself on fire. Yeah. But apparently orange juice is not flammable. So no, then no, I just no. walked around sticky for a couple of days because yeah. I was afraid of the showers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you guys you guys brought in some nice stuff. Pat brought in these, or he painted these water, watercolors, yeah. and, and Caleb brought in this this calendar and this nice map of Cyrodiil here. Um, it, it did, we didn't have I one actually, of the world, so I've, it I've, uh, makes me miss home. I've been... I actually contributed to the cell too, and, and yeah, yeah, I got in here first. Maybe you guys didn't even notice this, but I actually brought these bars for the window. Oh. When I got here, this window was just open, um, and I figured, well, you not much of a jail. There's yeah, no, bars no, there here, wasn't so. really a jail feel to it. So I until threw some bars up there. I welded them yeah. in. Yeah, they're pretty. And we're on the first solid. floor too, which is yeah. like you know, as somebody could come in. Exactly. I don't yeah. want anyone coming in and interrupting us. I don't want somebody. What if they really stole really my my posters? What if they and stole my honestly, watercolors? Honestly, tried to sell also, them. It's also a little drafty in here, and the bars stop just enough air. Oh, absolutely. For it to be the perfect temperature. True. I mean, I couldn't live without this. These watercolors. These are my pride and joy here. I mean, look at this one. Right here. We're not going to look closely at that one. Because <laughs> why it not? It's going to get us in trouble. We'll get in trouble. If I don't we think look we'll get in trouble if one. we look closely at that one. That yeah. one's I can't a, wait till this that episode one is a gets drawing taken off of my, YouTube. My free time is what it, that's the title. That's my free time, cellmate Ryan, me and the warden, and Pizza Friday. And these are all available on Etsy. Uh, they let me open up my own Etsy store in here. Well, that's very nice. The thing is also, people t- talk all this bullshit about. Correctional officers, Cor- mm-hmm. guys. Linda is a fucking nice lady. She's nice. <laughs> She's. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you laughing about? She's pretty nice, all right. What? Did I'll she leave get you it extra th- food. I'll leave. I'll leave it at that. Did you bring her something in your butt? 
Uh huh. What'd you bring her? Chips. It was mostly mm. chips. It was so actually, now you're you're such a fucking teacher's pet, man. You uh-huh. are it drives me crazy. I've been uh, uh, fucking smuggling in bags of the whole shebang, or smuggling out bags of the whole shebang. What's the whole shebang? Linda sells them on eBay. Oh, it's, uh, it's looking like there's a that I need to go over to the other side of the prison cell. Oh for yeah, for a second and figure out. I think something was supposed to be plugged in that I told one of us to plug in that ended up not being plugged in. No, it's plugged in. Well, it's not. I think the cable's broken. Yeah, I mean, luckily this in, this cell is uh, four complete walls. Yeah. But um. But yeah, Linda takes whole shebang chips out of prison and sells them on eBay to people who like chips. Yeah, I mean, which is most of the population. Which is, I would you say. know, how but Linda they, and I have bonded but is if, over if chips. If you're taking them out of your ass, don't they get back and it's all crumbled? There's a bunch of pieces of chips. It's like breadcrumbs. Well, I mean, I guess that's the when you're buying chips off of eBay, I feel like that's kind of uh, that's par for the course. Yeah, par for the yeah, course. Yeah, you know, right. you, you run the you run the risk, especially prison chips. I guess. Yeah, but I you, love prison chips. Oh my god, the whole shebangs are very good chips. Oh my. Yeah, god. I've been asking them to get zaps in here, but I don't think they're going no. to. No, but I, I mean, really would like to get just some. Is it too much to fucking ask for plain original lays? Once in a while, yeah. yeah. I mean, everything here is a, a, some for spicy sake, flavor, of or this some or fucking that. pretzels. Yeah, I do. I do. Where miss are the pretzels? Where are the wheat thins? And where is the the uh, whole wheat bread? I miss the McDonald's on the outside, but the steak and lobsters we've been having in here <laughs> have been just so incredible, dude. It's disgusting. It's you fucking hate disgust. steak and lobster, bro. You hate surf and yeah. turf days? Oh, d- dude, I, I, I'm walking around. We have around. pizza Friday and surf and turf. My blood pressure is going through the fucking roof, right? I can barely even muster up the courage to play tennis outside anymore. No, it's pickleball now. Well, they turned it into the pickleball courts. They turned it into pickleball courts, yeah, because, again, Cameron's wrath. I mean, you really have laid down the law here. Yeah. You've kind of made prison. Uh, I, the uh, war, the, you, I've always told you guys, first day in prison, I'm changing it. You saw the what the warden was doing to me, and then you snapped at him, and now the warden is a prisoner. And I do <laughs> and what the warden the, did to you. To and you. you're the it's warden. It's a very strange scenario. Yeah, I mean, if you... Uh, he made the warden his uh, proverbial bitch. People people all the time, you know what I've, I've been realizing, I've been talking to like family members and stuff, and they're saying, is it like Shawshank Redemption? Is it like um No, it's like Delfino break? Plaza in it's Mario like, it, Sunshine. It's, guys, it's like Ned's Declassified in <laughs> yeah. this bitch, right? Uh, we're, it's wh- like Sweet Life on Deck. Yeah, yeah, we have... Guys, I have a crush, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm 20-something years old, and I haven't said this in years. I have a crush, right? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Is it Linda? <laughs> no. It's Better a, not it, be. It's another prisoner. Who? I can't tell you who it is because he's okay. going to listen to this. Oh, great. But uh, we have a wood shop teacher. We have, I mean, there's all sorts of characters. The janitor, this guy's off his fucking rocker, uh-huh. right? He wears a, basically, I keep mistaking him for some kind of uh, bizarro world prisoner because he wears a blue jumpsuit instead of an orange yeah. one. And it's honestly, I, I, I a lo- like, speaking of with stuff that ca- you kind of don't expect based on TV and movies before you go into prison, uh-huh. like, I've always seen prison. Uh, in the movies, and I thought it's one way, and then I get he- in here, and I realize, like, you know, most of the child molesters are actually pretty chill, guys. And they're not too bad to hang out with, and people do don't mind them in here. Yeah, they I don't mean, get beaten up. At is all. that because is that is that because when you first the first day they thought that that's where you were going, and they put you at that lunch table? No, I just walked over, and I was like, "Hey, guys, no one seems to be talking to you, but uh. a lot of you seem cool." Interesting. I don't. I don't see. I, you walked I, over to that table and you dapped them all up. Yeah, and I was like, "Don't feel badly." Mm. Yeah, I mean, don't feel badly about what you've you're done. You're being punished, and you'll come out on the that other side. That was the one thing when Different, you probably. when you first got here, your you were so inspirational to everyone, walking up to every single prisoner and saying, "Don't feel badly." And I think that's maybe once you sh- you showed them your soft side, but then yep. immediately except Larry the Litterbug. Uh, you, oh. Oh, dude. And we you had to get rid of him because his name rhymed dis- with oh. Jitterbug. Destroying the earth, bro. bro. His name rhymed with Jitterbug. We can't have Litterbugs versus Jitterbugs. No, the, it ain't right. the, Listen, if you're out on the yard, right, it's fine to have 
couple of beers, mm-hmm. right? We're all out there. We're lifting weights. We're making yeah. beers. Yeah. We have we're, a craft brewery. We're making beers. We're making wine. It's not that big of a deal. It's fine to have that. But that can is going to go in the proper uh, receptacle. Right. Uh-huh. Right? This is our space. We're going to respect it. We're going to treat it right because we are going to be here for 200 years. Yeah, yeah. we're dying. We are exactly. in this Swedish prison for 200 years, and we're going to be, and I'm going to get bored of PlayStation. I'm going to get bored of Xbox. I'm going to get bored of Surf and Turf and all this stuff. Right. But one thing that I will never get bored of rolling around on the ground. Yeah. And I can't do that yes. if there's fucking trash all yes. over it. I'm going to get a, a, a styrofoam. I'm going to get a cup mental cup splinter uh-huh. stuck in my head. A metal one. A mental, a mental sp- and I already mental. have a mental, mental splinter, in, and it's caused uh, a lot of issues with how I'm treating people in here. Mm-hmm. And I think it's the root of my problems. I, yeah. I don't think the way that you're treating people uh, is wrong, or you should be put in any kind of solitary confinement. By the way, solitary it's been benefiting confinement, us. Solitary confinement is comfortable. We're in it right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't even they gave think us the- a three person solitary yeah. confinement. <laughs> Yeah, because we uh, we overcooked the hamburgers when we were on kitchen uh-huh. duty. Also, yes, kitchen duty's fun. I yeah, kitchen duty. I duty's like fun. the dishes, and I admit it, y'all. And to my girlfriend, yes, before I was sent off to jail, I forgot to do the dishes. Ooh, add it to my sentence. Yeah. He'll do it when he gets out. I'll yeah, do exactly. it when I get out. Yeah, Calm just, down. Just leave just him there. Just be patient. And guys, Jesus Christ, if you've been wondering if we've been making funny license plates. Oh, you, oh, you best yes, believe. Yes, we have. We've been making very funny license plates. Mm-hmm. Yep. We've been making ones that have an eight, an equal sign, and a D. You are owned was one that I drew the they other do, day. They do crack down on a lot of the ones that are more obviously funny, so I have been making some silly ones that maybe appeal to a different crowd, so I've been making ones that say, for example, one, two, three, five. Yep. So As if for, it's made by someone who can't count. If you're mm-hmm. not a math nerd, you might have not noticed... That's not in sequence. Right. Yeah. That's the wrong. Because the ones I make that say semen or vaginal. Yeah. These vag- ones usually <laughs> get <laughs> these vag- ones usually vag- get anal. pulled off the <laughs> vag- anal. V-A-G-A-N-A-L. I tried to make that fours, one. All the A's we got in trouble. Fours, these yeah, ones yeah. they get crumpled down and they get made into cubes that then turn yeah. into and again buildings. on my Etsy store. I have been making these license plates for hipsters. I've been doing ironic stuff. Yeah. And never in my life did I think I'd know how to build a car. Mm-hmm. But apparently, that's apparently something I've that you known can learn all along. Here. It you was inc- kind of it was natural. incredible how natural he was at building a car. We've been coming, we've been, we're becoming manly men uh-huh. oh, in yeah. this. Pr- we're we're uh, hardened, oh, right? When I get out of here, I'm gonna be a different guy because I'll be 180 years old. Uh-huh. <laughs> so they say that your your all your cells are different yeah. every seven years. People say that people I'm be say 20 different guys before exactly. I get out of here. People say that prison it, that it punishes people instead of reforming them. But yeah. no, I'm gonna be completely different when I get out of here. My brain is getting completely rewired. When I get out of mm-hmm. prison, I'm going to have a completely different conception of race. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> because in here, we're all one race. Uh-huh. We're orange. Pre- orange. We have orange. We all wear orange clothes. Mm. Out in the in the out in the in the old world, that's what we call that. Because we kind of feel like we're pilgrims. Mm-hmm. Kind of um Coming here to this brave new world, and we're yes. changing it for the better. We're kind of terraforming this place. And to Pat our... brought in a few new diseases that oh, people yeah. here yes. do not people have, have defenses uh-huh. built up against. Nobody Insanely here was ADHD immune ADHD has been spreading to ADHD around I've this been prison. Telling, Something so with the food that was in your butt has also caused it to oh, be, absolutely to uh, mutate and be easily Mutated, spreadable. But yep. it did make the steaks better. Yeah, that is they true. They kind of dry age them. It's but worth the guy. one thing, the one thing that I have been doing while I have been in here is uh, teaching a lot of the other prisoners about uh, mental health and mental health awareness. Yep. And I've diagnosed pretty much every single person on the cell block with ADHD and uh, autism, which is going to really help in their defenses. I think. Oh, I think yeah. that's a, a, they have a good oh, chance yeah. of getting paroled. I've pretty much diagnosed every single person in here with some kind of TikTok uh, mental health thing. And if you're scared that we're hanging out with serial killers and stuff. Yeah, yeah we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, sue me. Yeah, uh, right? Guy. Yeah, it's, I mean, at this point, yeah, Cameron is probably approaching serial killer numbers. Uh-huh. But also, we were doing that before we got sent to jail, too. Yeah. Absolutely. And, I mean, and, and you might be, too, and not even know it. Yeah. That's the scariest part about a serial say, killer. The Brooklyn alt comedy scene, it's more fucked up than you think. That is some real shit. <laughs> It's pretty much all serial killers. A huge percentage yeah. of serial killers have been in refuge, hiding. They've been uh-huh. put. They've been put into. A lot of people also get put into witness protection in the in the all comedy scene. Is something I found out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. People like I know you see people who you're like 
this person is, is are they doing a character? They couldn't possibly be this weird. Guys like Nathan Fielder, Joe Para. No, they act like that because they're putting on a, it's a disguise. It's a way to cover it up. Exactly. It's a way to cover it up. They've seen think, horrible things. You think John Wilson, you think he does? He, 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 Think he he turns that, do you think any human being would talk like that? And do you think he turns that camera off before he walks by people's windows at night <laughs> and then records them putting the, the pin code on their uh, on their door? No, dude, he's stealing that shit. He's going in there, he's slitting throats. Pretty much every single comedian Chopping you've ever legs off. every every single comedian you've ever seen, every single comedian you've ever met has a, a one or six bodies mm-hmm. and if you're wondering, buried underneath their house. And if you're wondering if we've given up our dreams just because we moved to uh, prison. Uh, prison. No, no. Uh-uh. no, we are still comedians. We are still Guess actors. Guess what these mics are for we are still, when we're not recording the podcast. That's Open why mic. we are still screenwriters, poets, yes. authors, and amateur film colorists. And Artists. potential musicians if we ever learned how to play an instrument. I made one of those. I, I took the washboards. I've been working on a song in here really quick. Do you guys yeah. want to hear it? Yes. Here's how it goes. It's called beep. I haven't learned how to do pitches yet. Uh-huh. Mm. But, but that's once the rhythm you figure out it. the notes, that'll sound yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's going to be the next and feel good ink. And if it will have vocals as well, it could be even be touching. Yeah. Yeah, that does sound like feel good ink. Kind of wait. Do it again. <laughs> wow. See, that sounds. I might have, to, sa- I might have like to sample that song for my song. <laughs> you can sample it. I might sample 30 seconds to a minute of that song. Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do? Put me in jail for copyright Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing, y'all. Copyright you, infringement anybody, is gone. Do you guys remember the episode of Family Guy where he gets diplomatic immunity? Uh-huh. Pretty much we have that. We have that. that. We have prison attic immunity. Mm-hmm. What are they going to... They can't punish us any more than we've already been punished. No. We're in jail for the rest of our lives. None of this shit matters. I'll, I'll hit Patrick. I'll hit Patrick. Don't. I will hit you. Don't. What are they gonna Not do? Not going to execute us. The death penalty has been revoked by communist uh, liberals in uh-huh. almost every single. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I never state. thought I would be thankful for a liberal or a commie in my life, but here I am. But guess where? I am. Guess where we were going before they these Straight liberal the chair. bastards? We were Straight going to, to an chair. execution method called the pit. Uh huh. That was yeah. based on a Mortal Kombat stage. Mm hmm. They yeah, were they're gonna, gonna throw a, us into a spike. They were gonna do a brutality to us. We were. They don't even think we're important enough to get the camera angles of a fatality. No, mm-hmm. just a brutality. Just punch our heads right off our fucking heads. Mm-hmm. And Through that was neck. it. That was or all we were gonna get. Sorry. Yeah. Sometimes I I confuse head and uh, neck. The head and, head the neck. and neck yeah. are the sa- one and the same. In Two here, sides of the same coin. Honestly, in here, people are treating me like I'm one big foot. So it doesn't fucking <laughs> matter. What well, parts yeah, of my body? They're I all massaging you. Massage me, smell You'll me, be throw me around. You've getting massages in You've here. What is that so about? So many massages. They have been calling I guess you I look the, tight. The rub king. Yeah. I guess I look of how tight. How you get rubbed? I yeah, get rubbed. They call it's him fine. the rub king. I'm the monk, and they call you the. <laughs> they call you Genghis Khan. They call me Khan. Megatron. They oh. call you Megatron. Well, the recently, people have been calling you Genghis Khan. Yeah. Genghis they call you the Slayer. Megatron. Yeah. They call you the Genghis convict. Genghis convict. Genghis Tron. No, you Genga, can't. Cha- you Mega. can't make your own nickname. Oh, I mean, you can do whatever you want because I'm what scared about, of you. What yeah, about we're not going to tell you what you can and hound. can't do. The Hound would be cool. The Hound is it? The Hound nice. of Cell Block One Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> the Hell Hound of Cell Block One Thousand. Yeah, that would work. The Psycho Crazy of Cell Block Ten Thousand. They've mostly been calling you Cameron though because 10, you do 000. this when you. I don't like nicknames. Yeah, you don't like nicknames. You don't no. like nicknames at all. If my name, were, if I wanted my name to be shorter, I would have got it legally changed. Yeah. What would you change your I, I, to do you, Cam? Do you guys think that I could get people to stop calling me the Rub King and maybe start calling me? I think you'd have the to join. rattlesnake. You'd have to. Oh, well, well I think the uh, what the one I way that you can definitely change you. your name. Why? You could join Nation of Islam. What, what about? Oh, I'm I'm already trying to. Yeah, uh, they have a lengthy hazing process to get in, though. That makes sense. Uh, I've been getting dunked into big, like buckets of glue and stuff. Yeah, you, they put feathers uh, on you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I did see you. I did see you on the commissary, and you were commissary. Is that the word? I yeah. did see you. You were nude, and you had your hand over your balls. Guys, and I was I like, could oh see my God. God. Cue ball. That could be cool. Cue ball is good. Cue ball. Uh, but I, um, I mean, I kind of want something a little tougher because I do. I mean, Cue ball is cool. Cue ball I like is getting... so tough, man. It hits all the other balls after it gets hit in the butt with the stick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I just want, like, I like being the rub king. I like okay, getting what about massaged. Soccer ball? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I mean, I can oh, I got golf one. ball. <laughs> Mr. Clean. Yo, what about Mr. Shine? But maybe it wouldn't have anything. It could have nothing to do with me, what about with shining me being star? bald or yeah. anything. Shiny? Superstar. It star. doesn't have to be shiny. Uh, hey, yo, good. Superstar. Superstar is a, a little club, but again, I want hey, yo, to be pop like... Pop Star. What about pop like... Pop Star is good. Pop Star is good. What pop about Star is... Wait, okay. The Vanilla Gorilla. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I no, can't no. see that we, uh, we are rebranding you as Pop Star. Pop okay? Star. Okay? We are okay. going to take these microphones. We are going to have a prison concert. You're going to be like Johnny Cash, but you're going to go <laughs> up there and you're going to be doing all these like little boy band songs. Yeah, you're going to be doing like... Mm-hmm. like uh, 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 oh. Yeah. Big time Rush Big time covers. Rush style. Yeah. I just went to prison. Kidnap the children and I feel just like a pop star. Kidnap the, kidnap children? the children. It just rhymes. <laughs> okay. Well. I didn't do any kidnap. I don't even know. How I don't even kidnap. know. There how was know so much. Means. I mean, we were we we are in here because we shined a laser pointer at a at a motorist. Allegedly. Allegedly. So, uh, no, I did that shit. <laughs> I did that shit, bro. Yeah. It was three different guys I did who that did it. shit. Yeah, I did it too. Uh-huh. Listen, I did all the other stuff they said we were doing, but I didn't do that one thing. Yeah, I shined a laser pointer at a motorist, a person behind the wheel of a car, for those who don't know. and uh, they... I stole movies from freemovies.com. <laughs> that was why you got in here? That was one of the reasons. I, one of the left reasons. I also killed of, a family. I left a bunch of fucking dog turds all over the city. Yeah, and yeah. the parking bro. tickets. It was the parking tickets, but guys, I'm gonna be honest. It was mostly the dog turds. Yeah, I drew, and I, I drew. was throwing them in places. I, there was a, a, I just thought kind of you could put them wherever. So I yeah. was putting them in, you know, those uh, those little kid race car things that uh, the, mm-hmm. they have the, the little grocery electric store. ones. I am not that smart, and I don't wear my glasses. Thought yeah. it was a garbage can. Uh-huh. So I was, uh, and I was, was throwing them in, and I wasn't weeks. bagging them either. So right. I was just kind of just picking them up, throwing, throwing them in. in there. I'd walk around with a dust pan, yeah, and kind of just sweep turds into this thing. Then all of a sudden, this kid sits down in it, squishes poop everywhere, and uh, basically he sued me because he got grounded for shitting his pants. But yeah. it wasn't true. I was also I also another charge they levied against me. I was I drew crude nudes in my personal notebook. Mm. I left it on the train. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I could see. They were able doing to trace that. me back based on my based on what the, they had a handwriting expert, and also you gotta stop expert. signing those things. Yeah. Right? Well, I sign it with my address, my phone number, and my SSN, and then I put five thousand dollar reward if returned. Which, yeah. if they ever do return, I'm saying, no, man, that says five point oh 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 dollars. Oh, reward. that's that's pretty smart. And I also smart, don't actually. have five dollars. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any money. I mean, you think I if I was, if you think if I was, all my money's poor, in cigarettes. You think if right I was now. rich, I'd be drawing these in my notebook. No. No. No, I'd be painting them on canvas. They'd be in the, oh. at the MoMA or the I, the one, <laughs> or both. The one thing I did get sent in here for well, the one thing that i was like oh the laser pointer thing whatever whatever then they try then these motherfuckers try to get me on skateboarding i have never once in my life touched a skateboard you're not a boarder i'm not a skater you're the farthest thing from a skate i don't skate i don't no. do vandalizing no, of toy, property man yeah, I'm you, a total uh, toy. I yeah, don't do graffiti. He's a toy poser. I don't do graffiti and I don't skateboard. I'm a complete and and the uh, the alleged skateboarding. There is no proof. Yeah. There is no proof no. that I have also, ever once all, in my life those, put all, wax on a ledge. And all those videos of Patrick skateboarding, guys, that was not skateboarding. Uh-uh. He doesn't no, land any of the no, tricks. No, no, they no, all no, look no, like no. complete shit. He can't do a single fucking thing. Another every thing clip not. he's ever posted, he's not skateboarding. No. That, you couldn't call that skateboarding. If I standing, went on, maybe on maybe if, I, if I got on the soccer pitch and I fell over and started b- putting the soccer ball in my ass and punching my balls and putting the other hand in my mouth, would you say, oh, that guy's playing soccer? No, that's I'd basically what he does for the skateboard. I don't know what soccer to the sport. is. That's what I would say. A fo- sorry, Foot, footy. Football. Footy. Football. Footy. Football. Okay, yeah. footy. Football. But yeah, you wouldn't call that soccer. No, and no, you wouldn't no, call no, what no, he no, does no. skateboarding because no. really it's an embarrassment to skateboarding. Right? Oh, we thing. don't have to go. I mean, just. Well, you said it yourself. You don't skateboard. Yeah. Well, just no, I don't we'll go, skateboard oh, well, we, allegedly. We don't have to go. Into or allegedly don't. But you just, don't. But but you don't. We this, can finally well, admit it. The it was case, all just. This it was is the case that my lawyer. And listen, if you saw him skateboarding, maybe he was trying to. Yeah, but he's I never. But he was just. Fa- he's never yeah. successfully. It was a risk. That was what. That's what. What it was. There's no crime. There may. Listen, they have attempted murder. They don't have attempted skateboarding. Exactly. Exactly. Which it's not a crime apparently, or it is a crime. Skateboarding is a crime. Skateboarding is always a complete crime. But what you were doing with the skateboard, I would say, is arguably even bigger crime. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it was just so crime to art, just worth. I mean, just to completely coolness. worthless. And I get that you were doing like a, 
kind of Sasha Baron Cohen satire thing. Right. Of like, wouldn't it be funny if a guy was this bad at skateboarding? But it just, uh, I get why they locked you up in here is what I'm yeah. saying. No, they locked me up in here for the laser pointer, and I'm currently fighting this case that well, I've man, sca- ever the touched a skateboard they got in my us life. For the, they got our fingerprints on this laser pointer. They used it to tie us to all these other well, unsolved cases. Is. I mean, look, look, this they let us keep it, even though it's evidence. Um, yeah, you don't have to switch it on and off. It's on. I don't know how you don't know how to use. Uh, you don't know how to do anything, basically, and that's why you're in prison. This um, is where stupid people go to die. But another thing they got me on, I was expiring milk. Yeah. I would get it from the grocery store and I would just let it sit in my house until the expiration date passed and I'd bring it back. Bro, that is nasty. Oh, you would return it? Yeah. You'd switch it out? Yeah. Switch out the the jugs? Yeah. That's a good move. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing. I mean, you're basically just giving people sour cream. Right. Yeah, big whoop. I got yeah. I, uh, I got way. Show me literally one line of any U.S. law where it says it is illegal to expire milk. Exactly. Mm. Nobody even thought of this. Shit. You're no. not not allowed to expire milk. I wouldn't have done it if there was a law that said that. Unless they exactly. uh, unless they recently put an amendment in the Constitution, yeah, which it could have been because I don't read I don't read every update to the Constitution. All I, I do. Know I I'm keep up, I keep up with it, and there's nothing about milk in there, even a little uh-huh. bit. They, well, they are, probably didn't have milk back they then. They did. What was that amendment they just are thinking of adding? Probably something to to make wokeism mandatory. <sighs> that literally it makes me want to make a shiv and go down to find the wokest person in prison and stab them. That's the thing, man. <laughs> I used to think shiv was a succession character, a, a, uh, a woman who's as big as the guys on the show. But... Now it's a toothbrush. Now it's a it's a toothbrush that um, I've sharpened with a knife that they let me bring in. Yeah, <laughs> you whittled it down. <laughs> yeah, they give you all these knives. They and let they me bring you in not my to knife whittle collection. stuff into weapons, right? Yeah. yeah, they let me bring in my knife collection. I have butcher's knives. I have like little bear grills, pocket knives, and shit. And what is wrong with taking my toothbrush, filing it down to look like a sharp object, and, I, and that's the other bro, thing. getting a guy I, in the I belly? I hate your shivs, man, because I always, I'm always trying to brush my teeth, and I pick it up, and I, I fucking hurt my palm because the way I hold the toothbrush is I cup the end of it. Mm-hmm. And I am putting a, I'm, I'm, I have my wet stones I know too. Your secret, I'm putting, Pat. I'm wetting them down He's and lying. doing the, the whole you, thing. I know your secret, man. What? Oh, you're doing a whole thing. I'm doing a whole you're thing. Being, okay, you, yeah, you've gotten, you've gotten. This. This. You've gotten so much control of your ass by carrying all these chips yes, and you're pencil it, sharpening it's a with it. pencil sharpener Admit down it. there now. Admit yes. It. I see the crank you attach to your uh-huh. hip. Oh, it's not even a crank. It's electric. It's using the 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 electrons in my heart. You got to stop because you're keeping me up at night. I'm trying to fall asleep, right? I'm, lo- I'm bored. I'm looking at my calendar. This is the only thing I can do in my free time is this. And then you... And I'm like sitting there the and I'm... I'm Sharpening all the toothbrushes <laughs> in, the, in the jail. I'm sharpening every single end of every single toothbrush, and there's going to be a full scale well, riot. Why don't you do it? Why don't, listen, if this is how you're doing it, prove it. Why don't you do it right now to this cigarette? Okay. Well, you'd have to. I mean, it's he's in a one piece. No, so take it off. So, I mean, I you don't can't take it off. No. You're going to get banned off YouTube. Yeah, uh, but we guys, still have to care about YouTube, and we still have to do the podcast, you know, uh-huh. because as much as I would love to move this thing to live leak, it doesn't exist anymore. No. Right. So we still have to do the podcast. Uh, if you're wondering, is it going to end? No, 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 it's not. It will never end. Will if never, anything, we have more time to do it now. We have nothing uh-huh. fucking better to do, man. We've already. I mean, we except we, we've I've been pretty busy with my paintings. job. I've already looked at, at at every single date on my calendar. Uh, Which, by the way, the 26th of August is National Dog Day. So look forward to that. Yeah. By the I way, am going to have to, I actually am maybe have to gonna step away, sit back from the podcast for a little while because I do, I did get a job. Um, you got a job? Yeah, I'm doing a remote work. I'm, I'm doing marketing. Oh. For fucking and who? Higher ed. I don't want to say the specific school because I don't want to get fired. But yeah. State school? I don't want to say anything about it, really, but I've been building emails in MailChimp and using Canva and InDesign and stuff. So that's been taking me a lot of time out of my day. Hmm. Are you? I mean, that's interesting. Are you gonna have time to like? I have, do his, the I have a, and I drink have a wine filter. And stuff? I have a filter on my video for Zoom calls where it makes me look like I'm wearing a normal shirt <laughs> <laughs> instead God. of a jumpsuit. You're always wearing that green shirt, Cameron. Very interesting. <laughs> it's my favorite shirt. <laughs> it's my lucky. It's my lucky hmm. business shirt. 
Okay, but yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead. I, I've prepared. They let me use the internet a little bit in here. Oh, well, you uh, have well, to. Well, I mean, by the way, because we, I have we do have we have yeah. Google uh, Fiber in here. Which yeah. the reason that I I got the job, uh, besides money, which I do I do like money, uh, is also so to give an excuse to give myself some internet access here. Use some of that extra internet time, put together some, oh, is some that, slideshows. They just give you the internet access for that? Yeah, they put a could computer you, in my room. Could you download Baldur's Gate 3 for me? Uh, I no, don't you know. Can't. I don't think they usually let you download nerd-ass shit in yeah. prison. Yeah, but they got naked guys in there. I yeah, that's why they're not allowed to, you're not allowed to do that. You're going to rile everyone else in prison up. That's why you're only allowed okay. to jack off the paintings in here. Well, and my calendar. Here's, uh, here's what we're looking at today. Here's our list. Oh. So I thought that this might be pretty helpful for us to have a good laugh. It's 100 plus best prison jokes to send to someone in jail for a good laugh. Do we know? This is by Rhoda Mogini. Do we know Rhoda? I think is he so. Here? I, think I don't Rhoda know. I think he might. I know Rodan. Be Rodan. He's a big bird. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah. He's a big bird that sits on top of the prison. I'm thinking of and that, I know a, a genie. Yeah. By the way, guys, I'm getting really good at basketball. just wanted to say that. And don't okay. say that I... That's well, a good nickname, the basketball. No, I don't. He is the basketball. They call him okay, the basketball because they are anymore. they are picking him up and they are throwing him. Can I go back to Pop Star? You could be called hoops. Can I be Pop Star? They're snakes? throwing him in the hoop. They are picking him up and throwing him in the hoop. They they, they don't treat me like a ball. They here. treat him like a ball they because do. they once they they saw him on the court the first time that he showed up. They said, "Damn." Yeah, they said, "Damn, let's throw that this guy in the hoop." Basketball can dribble himself. <laughs> Damn. Let's throw this guy in the hoop right now. He's uh d- he's he's making a fool of himself out here. No. He had his hand behind his back and he was dribbling like this. No, he's he's mad that I said his skateboarding was bad. I'm not he's, mad. He's taking it out on me. If you want to fight, we can fucking schedule the I'm fight. I'm not going to we'll fight. Get, we'll say... We'll put look, it up on the calendar. Yeah, we'll put it up on the calendar. 3 p.m., meet in the yard. We'll form the circle. Everybody will scream fight. And then one of us will go to the fucking the principal's office, all right? If you want to do that, I'm we not going to fight. I'm prison, here. I'm here to work on my art. Prison can be a depressing and difficult place, and finding ways to bring a little bit of humor and laughter to someone's life who is behind bars can go a long way. If you know someone currently serving time in jail and want to brighten their day, one option is to send them a fun knee joke. This article has <laughs> compiled a list of the best prison jokes sure to make your friends smile. 100 plus prison jokes to now, send to someone. I, personally, I don't need this doing? shit because I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm laughing it up all day, every day. With we're writing our here. own jokes for well, our I open think, mic. I think that, that you're going to like these jokes, though. I think we're going to read these jokes together, and I think we're going to get some good laughs. Will these okay. make people out of prison laugh? I think that these might be a little inside baseball or inside jail. Oh. Um, I like how you, what you did that. But I that, think that like maybe we can bring... Did that. I think hopefully that maybe we can bring prison culture a little bit to the outside and maybe we can help the rest of the world act more like prisoners. Yeah. Yeah, I do think that... Uh, I didn't realize that it was such a... Have you guys seen Yes Men or Yes Man? Yeah. I, yeah. I went on my first date in uh, middle school to so see Yes Man and I ate all the popcorn that she kind bought. Of, that's kind of how I see... The world now is like the people who are in who are who are prisoners. Those are the yes men. Those are the doers. Uh huh. They said yes, I will be in prison. Yeah, because yes, they do, I will report they do to prison. legally have to ask the you. doers. Hey, I wish the uh, prison had some doers instead said, of these yeah. damn bars. See, that's a lot of yes men do end up at being in prison because they ask them if they did something. Uh-huh. Did you murder that woman? And yes. they go, Yeah, I have to say yes. I yes. have to I say mean, yes. I, I guess oh, yeah. carry Under oath. Oath. God damn it! Yes, yes, I am a yes man. I have to say yes. Um, it is difficult to find things to discuss with someone in prison, especially if you have never been jailed. But sometimes a good joke can be a great way to break the ice and connect with someone behind bars. So this is good if you're trying to break the ice with someone who's in prison. One of my jobs Uh, was breaking the ice last week. Whether you are penning down a letter or sending a message through a prison communication system, including a funny joke can show that you are thinking of the person and trying to bring a little bit of joy to their day. Now, what is Recommended this? for you. Yeah. Durban men pay R123 for water at Platinum Belt Lounge after seeing expensive. Oh, what okay. Are, who, who are, who, what is a Durban man? That is in South Africa, I believe. Oh. Okay. Funny prison jokes. What are some famous prison lines? Check out the following jokes below that will make any prison smile. Okay. They include the following. So now we're finally getting into yeah. it. I'm thinking Maybe we can switch off, switch off reading them, maybe. I okay. mean, yeah. But I'll, I'll start here. What do you call a fake noodle in prison? A cell phony. Okay. Um, 
Maybe this is like cellphone. Like maybe there's like a uh, oh, type of noodle. Yeah. Oh, cellphone. Cellphone. That's actually okay. pretty funny. Yeah, that's kind yeah. of funny. That kind but, of. But I but think, I think if you that's sell more sell prison phony fake cellphone. Cellphone. Yeah. Noodle. This is more of a joke for the writers, though. Yeah. I think the yeah, reader. That's definitely. The reader's not going to get. Yeah. There the listeners not going to get it. Maybe yeah. the reader. Will All right. Get well, it, let's though. go to the next one then. Okay. Pat, you do this one. Okay. Why did the prisoner take a shower before he ate? He wanted to enjoy his meal behind bars. Why bars of soap. Oh. He his, <laughs> his behind meal. bars of soap. But he, he doesn't he wanted to enjoy his meal. Behind bars. Maybe what? meal like meal likey takey shower. Guys, meal likey uh, takey oh, shower. That, that, that makes sense. Be, yeah, wait. Okay. He wanted to shout like he oh shout show maybe it's shower. Shower. Like he wanted to show her everybody has big that, food. Yeah. He wanted he, to show her everyone me likey maybe take the a shower. shower. Me maybe likey maybe okay. it's, food. Oh no, I get it. Why did the prisoner take a shower before he ate as opposed to during? He, while he's eating, uh -huh. because the shower doesn't have bars, but his cell does. So he wanted to enjoy his meal behind oh, bars okay. in the cell. So it's not so much a joke as much as it is just a like riddle. this guy. This mm -hmm. is what he, yeah. <laughs> Try to figure out what this means. <laughs> is he, yeah. So why, yeah. why okay. is enjoy his meal why died hyperlinked? The pris, pr prize owner, maybe it's prize owner. Why died the prize owner take a shower? A shower. <laughs> before he before ate. Before he ate, and eight as in the number. Yeah. He wanted before he was to eight years in prison. enjoy his is me all back <laughs> behind <laughs> always behind, behind bars oh. behind bars soap behind you use it to watch wash your behind but with a bar oh uh -huh. that is so smart you wash your behind with a bar of soap yeah all right yeah. we okay. figured this, Wait, this joke one is <laughs> we out. finally figured it <laughs> let's out let's go to yeah. the next joke caleb this okay, one's yours i got you we had a technical difficulty because of a riot that broke out I uh, thought it was a rat that broke out. It was a. It's confusing because they basically are the same fucking word. Which it went, was, hey, hey, reverse kudos to whoever invented fucking English. What happened was the guys outside saw a rat scurry across the floor, and it caused and they a said, rat. That's scurry on the floor, and then and somebody scurry, said, "You want to start a riot?" And yeah, and, and they said, "You're going to start a rat." And that's where the confusion It was started. the whole confusion. That's where it stemmed from. Uh -huh. And it started, and then it led to, I think, 31 confirmed kills. Yes, yeah. all uh, from, Cameron. from Cameron. Well, yeah. let's go ahead and move to Caleb's joke all here. All right, let's he see Caleb's oh, yeah. joke. So my joke now. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear about the prisoner who invented a teleportation device? He was sentenced to life. Oh, life in prison. Well, yeah. but okay, but kind of like us. All right. Well, let's do the same thing we did with the other ones. So sentenced. This is a sentence. Uh huh. True. Uh, it's actually two sentences. So uh, and also life. Maybe it's like he spent his entire life teleporting. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this one's hard to figure yeah, out. We could. I've got a bunch of these. We yeah. can just Invent, keep moving invented, forward. Invented. He got in the vents. He tried to escape. Oh yeah. There, there you go. we go. That's it. Port. Yeah. Port. The port. Te telly. He's on the Portal. telly. He's, He's on the telly. Uh, on the porter. Uh, here's another one. That makes sense. Why did the prisoner break his own watch? He wanted to serve time. Oh, I like that. That's like kind of how drag queens say serve. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, he's ser he serving. If somebody's wearing a watch, they'd be like, oh, you serving time. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> it's giving time. It's, that's it's giving. giving. Oh, that's giving time. Yeah, watch time. is giving serving time. time. Which is something I've said for a long time. Even before giving came out as slang, I always say, this watch is giving time because yeah. it gives me time. It yeah. gives me the time. So you kind of invented that. Yeah. yeah. I was first when it comes to giving thing. and serving when it comes to watches and time. Yeah. <laughs> Would be my and area cunts. of expertise. And, cunts, and I honestly yeah. say that watch is a cunt. I usually say stuff like she was giving me cunt. She was and giving me And that kind of got corrupted cunt. and changed through the power of slang. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Then he turned it into all these brunches. Yeah. This next one here. Uh, why did the prisoner... Bring a ladder to his cell. He wanted to reach new heights. That's straightforward. Listen, That's I, pretty much, yeah. But, they, I don't, but I don't why like did it have to be a prisoner? I don't like the implication of this, which is that the, I mean, I don't even Oh, wanna, that he was going to cut the, he was going to kick the ladder out from his yeah, foot and he, kill he's himself. Yeah, he's going to end his own life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, usually they do that on a bucket. Yeah. A uh, ladder if you're a tall, real That's tall true. guy. Ladder if you, if you are tall. Yeah. Well, or usually really what short. they really do is they, they, 
so what you you get a like a necktie or any kind of like noose thing you tie it around a doorknob and then uh slam the door <laughs> really <laughs> i think you're thinking of uh pulling teeth no 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 no, no. Thinking of pulling souls from bodies yeah yeah you slam the slam doorknob the door. really hard yeah really I've, hard. Heard, I've heard of that done uh huh. Because it's tragic. Snaps I the think neck. that's the way that a lot of eight and nine year olds kill themselves. Uh -huh. Is by. S I think you guys are really getting confused about the two getting your teeth out. No. You are you saying so? You put a piece of dental floss around your neck. Yeah. No, no, like a necktie or like or neck floss. floss. Yeah. You put neck floss around your neck. You and put then you neck floss you around your neck, the and then you tie it on the doorknob. And then you slam, slam the door. The you door. get your brother to slam the door as hard yeah. as he can because yeah. he's older and stronger. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess it would work if you, uh, yeah, okay, that yeah. would work. If it's neck floss, then yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's for your neck. Okay, so here, <laughs> I'll, I'll just read these rapid fire okay. real okay. quick. What do you call a prisoner who's always ready to fight? Celluloid. What do you nice. call a prisoner who's good at math? Cellculator. What do you call a prisoner who's always on time? Cylinder. What do you call a prisoner who's good at painting? Celbert. <laughs> what, <laughs> what do you call a prisoner who's good at telling jokes? Cellmate. I know Celbert. Me too. Know, he does the too. Cell, the Selbert re report. Uh huh. <laughs> See the thing cell, about all these jokes. Sell you right. <laughs> the things that that's great about all all uh all five of these jokes here is uh, -huh. uh if you said these in a real prison, they would laugh. They wouldn't even you try to beat huge you up. Of laughs. Yeah. yeah. They wouldn't even try to beat your ass for saying this. This is stuff. good. This will maybe the next time that somebody. Uh, takes the massage over an hour, which is my limit, by the way. Past that, it starts giving me bruises, like I got cupping done. Mm -hmm. Getting bruised. I get bruised. Getting too massaged. <laughs> uh, I mean, over an hour, it's just way too much. That I start is bruising. very long. I, I'm a very light bruiser. So uh, by You're then, like a banana. Yeah, it's I mean, I'm, again, I'm, it's what they call you. Nobody calls me banana yet. But Everyone they calls you banana because they make you do the splits. But now when I say stop <laughs> and they say I'm not going to stop, now I can get them to stop by telling them one of these jokes. I'll yeah. be rolling on the ground so okay, far. You say, yeah. okay, sell you roid. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Whoa, oh, you look whoa. ready to fight and you're in prison. Yeah. Bit of a sell you roid. <laughs> Hold the phone. We um, have the new class so clown of prison. I guess prison. to do a little analysis they, on They'll take this. their hands off of my, my uh, glutes to slap their knees. I mm -hmm. think Selbert, cellmate, these things are pretty straightforward. But I do want to analyze really quick, though. What do you call a prisoner who's always ready to fight? Sell you roid. We're seeing two hyphens here. Mm -hmm. We're seeing sell you roid. So the you and the roid are separate things here. Oh, yeah, true. So we have sell culator, obviously. Sell calculator. Mm -hmm. Cell and dirt, cell calendar, cell Bert. Don't even need to go any deeper into yeah, that. Yeah, that one. one's obvious. But cell you roid. So obviously the roid is what maybe is the an word? android, which is created for war. And the yeah. you could mean I'm fighting you. Oh, uh -huh. it could mean I'm fighting you. I or think maybe that's what it means. Maybe a U haul. Right. Yeah. But what is the u utility? Utility. Utility. Oh, okay. Universal. You are in jail. Yep. Unfree. Mm, the opposite yeah. of free. Uh, here, here are some lighthearted prison-related gags that are not intended to harm or offend anyone. <laughs> uh, share the jokes with any of your relatives or friends in jail. Why did the prisoner refuse to eat his meal? He said it was a con artist. Confectionary artist. Uh-huh. Yep. The meal was. The meal, and it's funny oh, you mentioned yeah. confectionary because we're going to be seeing a lot of confectionaries in the future of these jokes. Really? really? So okay. just kind of keep that in your mouth, in your brine, in my mouth, in your brine, in your, your brine. mouth or your brine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why did the burglar take a shower after breaking into the house? He wanted to wash away his convictions. That's pretty. That's I, pretty straightforward. I tried that. Cut and dry, or should I say, wet and dry? Oh, yeah. wet and uh, wet then dry. Soap and yeah. wet. Yeah. Soap, soap and wetter. Wet. Soaked and soaked and wet. Might wished work. myself with soap and wetter. Oh, <laughs> wished myself clean. <laughs> oh, yeah. You sound like you're from Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. I wished myself clean. A little, a little more Australian. Wished myself. Wished clean. myself clean. Give me another joke. Yeah, let's um, see this one. Why didn't prisoners use social media? Kind of slipped into Rodney for a second. Sure, there. I couldn't. Hit it. Why don't prisoners? Yeah, why didn't prisoners use social media? They prefer. <laughs> They prefer cellular communication. Do we oh, have yeah. that? Oh, yeah, we do completely have that. I should have been doing this every yeah, time. You should have been doing it the, the oh, whole God, thing. I'm slipping. Sorry, guys. Jail has kind of put me in a bit of a tizzy. Yeah. <laughs> and it made me a lot more orange with my clothes. Mm -hmm. My fashion changed when I moved to jail. Oh, what's uh, this next joke here? Why did the prisoner keep sneezing? 
He was allergic to cellmates. That would really be a problem. <laughs> it would be that would be such you a were, it could bad be dangerous problem. if it was a serious allergy. It would be really dangerous. You wouldn't be able. They wouldn't be able to keep you in jail. No, they'd have to let you free legally. Is this yeah. supposed to or be they like put a you pun in solitary? Here, I guess. Cellmates. 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 Cell. Oh, fuck. This one's tough, man. Cell made cell cell cellophane, latex. Cell oh, you can be allergic to pla- yeah, some kind of plastic. Cell made, seal 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 made, You can't be allergic to semen. Sneezing on semen? Who? I know a guy who's allergic to semen. How'd you find out? Um, It's from a doctor. I found out. A doctor jizzed on his face. A doctor jizzed on me, and yeah, I was saying. Well, you're allergic. I was saying it's a guy I, went, I know. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, you must be allergic. Let me yeah. just put this in this. Uh, I was saying it was a guy I know. <laughs> I was saying it was a guy I know because I didn't want to embarrass myself. Oh, but you went to the doctor. He jizzed on your face uh-huh. and found out. I'm that allergic, you were allergic to, to, to semen. My my penis always swells up when semen is near. Uh-huh. Yes, I've seen it this. Turns happen. red and bumpy. Yep. You should put that in the <laughs> joke. <thing. laughs> bumpy. Yeah, like an allergy. Because the palpules on the on the uh, the uh, yeah, head. It looks like a dog's tongue. Yeah. The penile would... palpules make it look like a citrus fruit. Do They're guys... like minuscule mushrooms. Mm-hmm. With it just make... as much psychedelic effect people, on me. People get penile penis cancer pretty much uh-huh. every day. Oh. Does Some of us this do. Make your penis bigger. No. It makes With it bigger in the way gross. that a branch gross. of a tree would get bigger and get a separate part of it that's going off in a different direction. Uh-huh. Two you get two fractalized. Wait, two motherfucking dongs. Yeah. Swag. Mm. Think about a Y shape. Think about why my wife and my other wife. Uh-huh. And my I, wife's butt. Yeah. <laughs> Think about why did I not get penile cancer <laughs> before? Why did that? There was, why is it that? In, hey, baby, suck my prong. Why is it that there's a? This has always bothered me. <laughs> in that Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends porn that I've talked about so many times. Uh-huh. I they, know the one. Yeah, they draw blue with two dicks. I think that makes sense. Stacked He's imaginary. Top, stuck on top of each other. He's imaginary. He can have anything he but wants. Why? When I was a kid, I, I thought that the second one was his ball, and he was putting his balls into Frankie. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was his you've other. You've been dick thinking about this. Uh, you've been thinking about this a lot. But I, know, I think he actually doesn't have a ball sack jail. in that in that sh- in that short film. So he really logically he is a ball sack, and he has two right. dicks. Or he's a dick and those are his two balls. Just something I've been thinking yeah. of in uh, my something prison. Something about wars. every day. Yeah. I'll go ahead and read the next one here. Okay. Uh, why did the prison guard refuse to eat the prisoner's cooking? He said it was a confection. Oh, okay. This one actually makes sense. Like uh, you gave it like a confession. Uh huh. Right. I won't eat a confession. Yeah. yeah. Right. It doesn't that's make any not, sense. <laughs> well, that's not actually. That's just kind of a thing he that said you it, do. That, yeah. What this joke should have said is he said it was a confection, and what he meant was confession. And he, he was had, confused and thought uh, the food. And was he had a confusion. confusion. <laughs> <laughs> he said confection because he had confusion, <laughs> and he meant confession. And he meant, confession. And he meant confection. Yeah. It should say this is the the real version of the joke. Yeah. Let's punch Why this up. Why did the prison guard refuse to eat the prisoner's cooking? Well, he misspoke <laughs> and he said it was a confection. A confection. But, but he, he th- meant confession. And, and the guard <laughs> thought it was a confession. <laughs> and he had confusion. Me, he thought it was, drug, it was alphabet, alphabet soup. Yeah. That's why he thought it was because a confession. The guard because the guard thought it was that it was a confession. Soup and, the, and, and by the way, guards hate confessions. <laughs> they won't eat them. <laughs> they they won't, won't even go near them. They, they won't go near them. them. You say confession, they turn around, they walk the other way. All right. Next one here. If you have not found the best joke yet, you may want to check these funniest jail jokes below that are hilarious. They include... What a great one. <laughs> they include, and then right into it. Why did the cookie go to jail? Because it was caught stealing all the chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> this is I, a really good joke to send to somebody in jail. This is, yeah. this is okay, funny because I said this, this to the, one so far. I said this to the warden, and then that happened in the yeah. photo. Oh, he beat you up? <laughs> he beat the shit out of me. I, I, it does make sense because what are chocolate chips to a cookie? Y'all, they're, Money. Ju- they're jewelry. Jewelry. And what do oh. people steal all the time? I was going to say they're body parts, but a body part that you could have a variable amount of, like a finger, but more if there no, are more people no, with six or they four stand, fingers They stand around. out. They're jewelry. Yeah, it's more of a they're jewel. They're uh, adorned on top of a okay. cookie. They're not really a part of it. Mm-hmm. So okay. it's like, it's like uh, 
So yeah. it's like a, so people steal yeah, jewelry all jewelry. the time, right? And that's why I went to jail. So it's just the fact. A, cho- just a, the chip, a chip would de- or a cookie would definitely steal a chocolate chip. Yeah. All right. What's this next right. one yeah, here? Here, take this one. What do you call a potato in jail? A French fry. That's a bit. A French fry. Um, a French fry. A bit insensitive. Uh, electric chair joke. I don't know if I like that one. Yeah. And also, French it's kind of stereotyping the French as. Um, French fries as fries as food <laughs> fries as food yeah <laughs> which uh, doesn't make any sense doesn't, doesn't sit well with me yeah. and French fries don't sit well with me either when I eat them they give me heartburn mm. yeah, yeah. The seed because oil. of the salt yeah. and the seed oils Fucking and so glad they don't have any seed oil in prison oh well that's because everything is fries. cooked in hundred yeah. percent beef tallow yeah or maybe it was, maybe it's some other animal yeah but it's some kind of I tallow I somebody's I, tallow I heard that it was <laughs> it was questing beast. From oh. Arthurian legend. Oh, oh wow. There's an animal that they keep on that only Questing kings beast. can hunt. Oh, it's not beef tallow. Hey, it's beast tallow. I, I don't care what kind of tallow it is as long as the taxpayers paid for it. Oh, hey, yeah. don't forget to bring your tallow. Because by the way, you That's guys. That's what I would say if I was high as fuck and I wanted to eat some Again, fried this is food. a word confusion that you're doing, though. Yeah. I'm doing a word confusion? All right. And by the way, guys, we are, you. if you're worried about... Uh, yes, we are welfare queens, essentially. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody in prison is essentially a welfare queen. Mm-hmm. We're living off your dollar. All right. I got another lightning round coming up here okay. for us. Um, <clears throat> why did the pencil go to jail? Because it was a little sketchy. Cool. Why, uh, yeah, hit that after Why did the every bicycle go to jail? It was too tired. Too tired. Do you go why to jail the, for being tired? Why <laughs> that was one of my things. Why did the smartphone That was one of the to, things I went to well, jail here, for. Look at some of the other ones here. Okay. Uh, some of the other reasons. Why did the smartphone go to jail? It couldn't control its appetite. Oh, it ate a woman. What do you call a bear in jail? A gummy bear. Oh, because of the blowjobs. What did the scarecrow go to in <laughs> Why did the scarecrow go to jail? Because it was outstanding in its field. You can go to jail for being too good at your yeah. job. What do you call a fish in jail? A jailfish. That's just a jailfish. A jailfish. What said. did the coffee... Why did the coffee go to jail? It got Mugged. You go it's to jail. Illegal to be mugged. <laughs> it's illegal. It's illegal to be mugged. Yeah. Why did the lion go to jail? Because it roared too loudly. No, what complaint. do you call a snake in jail? A hysterical prisoner. He's funny. Why did the tomato go to jail? Because it was charged with sorcery. You can get sorcery. <laughs> like sorcery. Yeah. yeah sorcery is a very, very, yeah. very. They take that very seriously. That's one. Okay. Wait, that's I, what wait. we would never do. No. What do you call a dog in jail? A cell phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and why did the sun go to jail? It was too hot to handle. You can go to jail. What do you call a dog in jail? A cell phone. What do we think about that? So let's go cell over phone? this. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cell phone? Cell phone? Cell phone? Some bone? Because okay, wait. It's a dog <laughs> trying to say bone. A cell phone? <laughs> <laughs> bone? <laughs> yeah, a cell. <laughs> like a, a blue tongue. A cell phone? Some bone? A cell phone? <laughs> bone? A, c- a cell bone would have made more sense. Yeah, but, but uh, what do you still, call a dog's toy? Maybe, maybe in jail. dog. What do you call maybe a dog's dog food stands for something like device of Grano geolocation. Geolocation. Oh, but why would because uh, a phone be has a GPS? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. A device on board it has GPS. Yeah. All right, let's go forward here. Yeah. Jokes um, about inmates or any group of people can be. What, what happens if you click on people? I wonder because that is a hyperlink. Uh, there yeah. was mostly ads. I clicked oh, okay. on all these. Can be insensitive and inappropriate, even if not intended to be offensive. Okay, so now we're getting into dark humor. This yes. is my territory. Therefore, we must be mindful of their potential impact, even as we share them. Number one, why did the prisoner... This is this is, this is a dark joke. Yep. Why did the prisoner break out his harmonica? He wanted to go get out on a good note. Does it mean go out? Um, go out on a good note, like because this is the dark. Out. This is the dark humor. Oh, like maybe he passed away. Yeah, yeah. He was killed in a stabbing. Well, I just don't know, and there's no way to tell. Yeah. yeah. All right. Why did the inmate refuse to watch the prison documentary? He didn't want to be a connoisseur of crime. <laughs> <laughs> Connoisseur. He didn't want to be a connoisseur of crime. Why did the prisoner get mad when he saw his reflection in the mirror? He was doing hard time. Got a boner. Yeah. Yeah. He was jacking off at the mirror. Here's another one. Why? What? Why did the prisoner refuse to take a bath? He was afraid of getting soap on a rope. He's afraid of. Does that mean being tied up? Do, in the. Um, he was afraid of getting soap on a rope. Yeah. He didn't want to get soap on a rope he in prison. He would rather not have soap on a rope. They yeah. have it in prison. They have it in prison, so you don't drop it. Oh. 
Oh, well, but, why, he but he wanted to drop it. But he, he and he also was refusing it? to take a he bath. He was refusing to take this a bath. This is not bath. about a shower. This is about a bath. Yeah. So it's the also not as prisoner. much of a problem when you drop we, the soap. We, we do so. have jacuzzi baths in prison that are shaped <laughs> like hearts from The Sims. Mm -hmm. We have whirlpool jacuzzis that are so powerful that people have been getting neck and back injuries from getting yeah. swirled around in yeah. the water. Yeah, and then they come and they massage me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They say, let's make this better. Yeah, yeah. Well, I need a massage, but they're saying they need to give a massage yeah. because it relaxes them. Yeah. Uh, prison is the worst place you can ever dream of. Lie. Common misconception, but whatever. Therefore, you should always stay out of trouble. These jokes are the best for someone, unfortunately, in jail. Why did the prisoner refuse to eat the steak in jail? He was afraid of being grilled by the warden. Mm. So I, I was grilled by the warden a few times. He so he's afraid in. that my he, food was grilled by the warden. Okay, he was wait. personally making it for me. He put <laughs> me on a foreman. I, he, put I my, have, he put my uh, he put my foot in a foreman and said, you Michael Scott now. Well, there is a there, this, <laughs> he called um, me Dunder Mifflin for weeks. I this this it, it, this all makes sense. This joke makes sense. If you think about a simple uh, I think it's from the Bible. Yeah, you are what you eat. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I was going to say this makes perfect sense if he was a steak. Yeah. So he's saying you are what you eat. You eat a steak, you become a steak. And then all mm -hmm. of a sudden, and by the way, to a warden, these guys are hungry. Mm -hmm. You walk around and you're a, uh, you know, five foot 11 steak walking through his halls. He's going to eat you. Yeah. He's going to grill you and eat you. Exactly. It's dangerous. What do you call a bear in jail? A prisoner of bear. Because... If you're a bear in jail, you're probably in a prison made for and run by bears. bears oh, yes. this is making some sense to me. This is now, recently. supposes a world where bears yeah. run and are in prisons. Yeah. Because yeah. why would a human put a, a bear in prison? That's just a zoo. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't make much but sense if a now. Bear, does it? Oh, oh, what do you call a bear in a zoo? A zoo bear. <laughs> Wait, no, that wasn't. <laughs> I was just guessing. I mean, I guess I maybe wrote a joke. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That was a good joke. Oh, yeah. thank you, man. All right, yeah. what's this next? All right, one just here? a couple left here. Okay. Why do prisoners wear stripes in jail? Um, fact check. We don't always. We, we, we don't can. always. Wear it's actually them. against the dress code. Let's and try not by to the way, fact check in the middle of jokes. I didn't know you guys went fucking. Woke sorry about on that. Me. Sorry. Okay. So why do prisoners wear stripes in jail? So they can earn their fashion stripes. Well, you already have them, according to this joke. But these aren't yeah. fashion But again, stripes. you can't... Well, maybe we haven't earned our stripes yet, but there's a lot... The, the dress code is pretty strict. Uh, you can't have a skirt that's above your fingertips. Yeah. You can only you, have a baseball hat if it's backwards. Yeah. Yeah, you can't... No big white t-shirts. Only no. sunglasses you can have if they're cool. You can't sag because it, apparently that means something else. Secretly, in, we are gay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's... You can't swag either. <laughs> You can't swag your pants. You can't sag your pants. Mm -hmm. Secretly am Secretly, gay. Secretly, that's what Secretly I was am gay yeah. is what sag stands for. Guy in honestly speaking nice about I mean, jail. G -A -I -L. Yeah, and these guys are on speaking a about the sags speaking on about strike. That's not what I was going to say. Pants. Speaking of guys who are belong in prison, <laughs> the sag. writers or the the sactors. What yeah. does sag stand for? Sactors, screen and actors guild. Secretly are gay. Oh, <laughs> um, huh. All right, this next one. Uh, why do inmates love playing soccer in jail? It's the only way they can score. Now, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. I get... Um, yeah, next joke, though. <laughs> yeah, next one. So that was actually the last joke, but I have here a few other things. This is at the bottom of this, of this list. Okay. Um, so maybe you can read this out. This is actually pretty interesting. It's huh. more of a fact. So I'll play a different sound effect after it. What are some slang words for prison? What is the slang for a jail cell? Here are some of the popular ones. So there's three here. Number one, the big house. The joint. And the slammer. Wow. That's what I mean. I just call it. I just call it home. Me too. Yeah. Um, and then I have one last thing. I, before I found these jokes, I was looking for other prison stuff. And I was looking for more Q. I, I was looking at Q&A like we did for that evil uh, one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And here, there was only one good Q&A question, but I wanted to throw it in just as a bonus at the end because I did really like it. But there wasn't enough other stuff to, to, for it to make sense to do a Q&A one. But here's a question and answer someone has about prison. Will my flatulence bother my cellmate? And here's the answer. Yes. If your fart stinks, you'll likely get what they call rolled out. And that's <laughs> a bad thing. 
Go sit on the toilet, fart, and flush. The suction from the water flow should help with the smell. They want you to flush the fart? Yeah. You or should get rolled flush out. the fart. Honestly, if it's, between, if it's between flushing my fart and getting rolled the fuck out, yeah. I'm just, flushing the fart. I just didn't realize that that was prison etiquette, but I guess I will start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought you just had to light a match. We get matches, by the way. We yeah. get matches. We also get those lighters that you use to light candles, the long neck mm-hmm. ones. Yeah, we get those. We uh, get those for our cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. We get Zippos, too, and the good ones. We, we get, get the, the ones cool that ones we get the ones, on them. Yeah, mm-hmm. the ones you get in a glass case in, in the Midwest at a gas station. And yeah. guess who's paying for them? Joe Biden. Joe Biden, Mitt Romney. All through your, your pockets. Mm-hmm. So, guys, go out and vote. Vote mm-hmm. for whoever's going we to. We can't uh, vote anymore. Vote for me. Vote for as, he's going to be prom most king. likely to be most attractive of the prison. Yes, in the couple years once I get my act together. <laughs> and they're letting us do our stand up dates. They're letting us. We're going to be wheeled out like Hannibal Lecter on all the shows. It's it's, it's technically a, a conjugal visit. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow and through the weekend I'm going to be in Washington D.C. appearing as a hologram um, mm-hmm. with uh, Mr. Adam Friedland. And uh, who's actually in here, too? He who's actually is in, in here, here too. for and being a gay bug. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> yep, yep, said it's the life. In <laughs> and I am going to be also, I'm not going to be a hologram, I'm just sending a guy that looks like me, MF Doom style. Oh, that's to, smart. Uh, I should do that. Yeah, but nobody I'm, looks like me. Yeah, that's the problem. A lot of guys look like me. Uh, I'm going to be in uh, Pittsburgh and in Baltimore opening for Girl God. Uh, on their their tickets are on their website at girlgod.co, I think. I don't know. Dot I fucking dot Girl God the website. Just Google dot it. Google. Just Google it, you fucking Just idiot. Just Google it, you yeah. dummy. Uh, and, go- and I mean, speaking of guy holograms and guys who look like each of us, my wife does not know that I am in prison, so don't tell her. Do not tell her. And, go, and if you want to help us uh, buy more cigarettes and uh, uh, hopefully some bubble tape, go check out the Patreon. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love bubble tape. Well, with the I bubble tape, uh, I'm bubble hoping tape. to make a saw out of bubble tape and I, saw my way out of this world. I have been, and bubble tape is something I was addicted to on the outside, and it's been pretty It's been pretty hard on the inside my without bubble tape. My guy is itching because he keeps trying to put it in the wrong way. Mm-hmm. He's trying to put it in. The I can't able, smuggle bubble tape in because I get too excited. He starts chewing it with his butt when he's <laughs> yeah, smuggling and, it in. And then you don't even get to enjoy it. Now it's just your butt getting all yeah, the fun. Yeah, my butt's getting so much I'm fun in prison. I'm with my butt over who can get more fun, my butt or my mouth. <laughs> why, well, why do you care? You're not your mouth. I am my mouth. <laughs> you, oh. If my face, if my butt gets more fun than my face in a week, I literally try Bad to kill week. myself. Yeah, that makes mm. sense. Or at least chop the bottom off. Yeah. yeah. You ever see those guys with no... I try to turn into two, ever, a Diablo 3 enemy where I crawl around that, with uh, my intestines coming out the bottom. you see that video recently that was the guy with no bottom half and he was doing boxing? No. There no. was a video of this guy doing boxing, and I was sitting there, and I was like, this guy is living the dream. No butt. No butt. I'd never, love to have no butt. Never have to worry about Wiping. Sp- having, ha- walking around with a shit. That's the only thing. Yeah. He's never had swamp ass. He has swamp bottom. That's the only thing body. I think True. that... Uh, is but I bet, his, I bet butts. maybe I bet Daredevil style his body makes up for it and his belly button smells really bad. <laughs> <laughs> he also right. doesn't have to worry about uh, pants. It's hard yeah. to buy men's pants. He's just a shirt. Guy. I hate buying pants. Uh-huh. Me too. But I wonder if he wears whitey tighties. Okay, uh, we'll see you guys on uh, we'll Saturday guys. for National, National Dog, Dog Day, Day. and Enjoy. then next week, and then next week, and then next week for about a hundred and fifty years. Bye. I believe. I think somebody's selling drugs outside of my apartment. Yeah. I saw an old, old man and a young, young man sitting on the bench right outside my apartment. There's a bench right outside. It could be father and son. But a third man of an age in between the two men Mm -hmm. came by and sat down, and the young man reached into a plastic grocery bag, brought something out, and slid it very slyly, breaking bad into drugs. I have to assume it was drugs or a rare baseball card. Mm-hmm. It could be a rare baseball card. One of the, and they looked at me, and I broke eye contact, and then I've been scared for two days that they're going to try to kill me. No. Because I know. 
They don't know that you know. I mean, I was walking around weird. I was acting really weird. Yeah, you had your like you had. What a you should here's how here's how here. Let me kept... go. Let me rewind time for you. Here's how you should have handled that. Okay. You see him slipping the thing into his bag. You in your brain, you know you've just seen a drug deal. Yeah. Maybe you're gonna mm-hmm. get killed mm-hmm. for knowing what's going on here. But here's what you say. They're, they're you evil. look at you look at these guys on the bench. Here's what you say. Geez, you guys are always sitting here doing completely nothing. Why don't you find mm. a hobby? You're not even doing anything. You're just sitting there. Get mm. a job, you lazy exactly. bones. You you haven't even moved in the past 10 minutes. You've been sitting completely still there doing nothing. You've been sitting here for hours talking to your friends, giving them gifts. Stop loitering. No, not give. No, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no. Don't so now you're getting doing doing nothing. That's what I'm saying. Oh, doing shit. completely nothing. Why don't nothing. you at least give... Yeah, you should say, why don't you take up a hobby like drug dealing yeah. or something? <laughs> I wish you guys would sell fucking drugs because at then, least I could buy some. Yeah, yeah they know that you they don't. That's know that how they're you, doing anything. That's how you repair the the thing. Is like I would if you're selling drugs, I would like some. Right. Uh, I think you're not dealing drugs, so you can't shouldn't kill me. But mm-hmm. if you were, I would it would be okay them. with me. That's what I was wondering. Is it, is it is it better if they think that I'm a police officer because I kind of have a police officer's head and build, mm-hmm. or is it better if they think that I'm just a just a, a wasteoid? Yeah. Because who are they least? Who are they less likely to kill? Probably a cop. Oh, my God.